Hi, you guys. It's Yaz, and I'm on the road today, so I apologize for any background noise because it's a little loud where I'm at on the road. But what I wanted to bring up was about covert narcissists, okay? Because there's a lot of misinformation about the covert narcissist. A lot of people are saying out there, I see it on social media, oh, well, the covert narcissist is the shy one. You know, they're the ones that are the vulnerable narcissist. They're, you know, they play the victim and all of that. Well, we know that the covert narcissist plays the victim. But one thing about a covert narcissist is they are the farthest thing from being shy, okay? Why why do we call them vulnerable? Because they're very, very sensitive, okay? They have a very, very fragile ego. So, you know, this is why they are very much, you know, they have a wall up and they don't let anybody get too close to them. You know, they won't communicate directly because they're afraid of, you know, facing shame when you attack them. So the way the covert narcissist fights is indirectly and passive aggressively. But the one thing that you got to keep in mind is that they are not shy because when you put a covert narcissist back against the wall, they will come at you strong. And I've seen that. Now they generally don't like to fight like that. They really don't want to take you on toe to toe. They will, you know, they feel, well, I will pay you back later on. They try to stay in control. They try to not show their hand. So understand this. A covert narcissist is the farthest thing from being shy. And one of the ways you know that they're not shy is that they're not afraid to give you, you know, be sarcastic with it. They could be very, very sarcastic and put you down But then they try to laugh it off and make like you're sensitive. A covert narcissist, the way they try to win the game is by staying in control. They stay in control and they make you blow your top. They cause reactive abuse where they blatantly, you know, they'll lie directly to your face. They'll gaslight you directly, you know, to you. And they want to see you pop off. And their way of, you know, their power is to, again, make you look like a mental case. And they do it deliberately. They set you up to try to trigger you. They want everybody around to look at you like you are crazy. So, you know, one of the things is, you guys, you cannot take the bait when you're dealing with a covert narcissist. You've Number one, you got to be able to recognize them. Now, people say, well, how can you tell whether somebody is just shy or whether they're a covert narcissist? Because with a covert narcissist, there's a couple ways you could spot the covert narcissist. Number one, they're not consistent with it. They'll be nice to you at times and then they'll disappear on you or they'll dismiss you or they'll ghost on you. That is a red flag that most likely you could be dealing with a covert narcissist because they tell you one thing that they're there for you, but then when push comes to shove, they disappear and come back with excuses. Covert narcissists also don't tell you what they're thinking. That, you know, just because somebody is quiet doesn't necessarily mean that they're shy. And this is the way a covert narcissist, you know, can fool people into thinking, you know, oh, they're shy and oh, they're the victim because they sit there and they try to put on the pathetic act. So people think, oh, you know, they're weak, they're vulnerable. This is what they do. They want people to to feel sympathy for them so, you know, they can get what they want out of them. But they are the farthest thing from being weak. They're not weak at all, you guys. If anything, they're silent and deadly. So just because they're quiet doesn't mean that they are shy. Understand that. And you will see that by their passive aggressive behavior. What are some of the passive aggressive behaviors that they do? Well, they will, you know, slam doors. They will show up late for things. They will put a face on at a party. Okay, somebody who's shy doesn't really put a face on at a party, but a covert narcissist, 
They want to pay you back and you'll see it with their nonverbal language, their facial expressions. You'll see that they're not this, you know, meek type of person because you could actually see the anger and venom in their faces. You could see them by their, you know, the way they stare at you and they look right through you with that anger and that jealousy and that envy. That is not somebody who is shy or somebody who is really vulnerable, okay? See, covert narcissists, it, it's like a real big misconception when you call them a vulnerable narcissist because they are the farthest thing from being vulnerable in the sense that they will attack you when they have to attack you directly, but they don't like to attack directly. They like to do it indirectly so that you can never point your finger on, at them. But the way that they're vulnerable is the sense that they're cowards. They can't take you on toe to toe. They're afraid of that shame because they have, you know, probably out of all of the narcissists, the most fragile ego. So they, it's called like a, it's a survival tactic that they have that they protect themselves from showing that they're jealous or that they're angry or that they're mad at you. They don't, you know, they, they like to keep you in the dark. This is what the covert narcissist likes to do. They mind fuck you by keeping you in the dark. And this is why people call them the most dangerous and most insidious because you think that that covert narcissist is with you. You think that that covert narcissist has your back, but they don't, but they don't let you know that. And the only way that you're going to know is by their actions when they make promises and they don't follow through or they disappear on you when you're sick. These all show you that this person is not who they portrayed to be, okay? So when a covert narcissist sits there and they're quiet and they're not saying much and, you know, they're just letting you talk, they're not validating you, what they are is the exact opposite. They portray the exact opposite of what they are. They portray the fact that they are, you know, they, they're trying to pretend they're shy, they're meek, they're the victim, they give you the sob story, oh, poor me, poor me, you know, life isn't fair, I didn't get what I deserved, you know, everybody else has it easy but me, you know, they always, they're angry about their situation because they feel they got cheated in life, okay, or they didn't get that, that validation as a child, maybe from their parents, or they were over-validated and, you know, they were the golden child and spoiled, so they feel entitled to things. But they are vulnerable in the sense that they're afraid to show their hand. But that doesn't make them shy. And I've seen a couple of influencers, you know, do reels on this and they say, oh, well, they're, they're shy and they're, th no, they're not shy. A covert narcissist will let you have it if you really put them against the wall. Okay. And some people say when they get drunk, sometimes they'll come out and they'll, you'll really see how they feel because, you know, they can't control themselves when they're dr drunk or they're on some kind of, you know, you know, drugs or something like that, then the truth of how they feel sometimes comes out of them because, you know, they're not focused because of the drugs and alcohol. And also, if you like really are at them and you're yelling and you're screaming at them, they could snap out where they get to a point where they just explode because a covert narcissist is like a smoking gun. It can just stay quiet so long before it pops. See, they don't want to do that. They don't want to pop off because they don't want to give you the satisfaction that you got to them. This is the covert narcissist game to not let you think that you got to them. They want you to think that, you know what, you're nothing. This is how they invalidate you to make you feel like you're nothing by not showing their emotions. See, they understand the fact that if they show their emotions to you, you know, that in their eyes, when you show emotions, you're weak. 
So this is why covert narcissists, they don't do that. They stay very cool. And when you ever confront a covert narcissist about something, if they really can't stand it, they'll just walk out of the room and just say you're crazy. All right. But if you really got them nailed, they're going to come back and they, you know, they're really going to come back at you and, and call you everything that they are. They're going to call you insecure. They're going to say you have trust issues. They're going to say you're negative. They're going to say you need therapy. They're going to always deflect and flip the blame onto you so that they don't have to take accountability. But in general, the covert narcissist, they run, okay? So just because they run from things or they run from facing accountability doesn't make them shy, okay? Doesn't make them shy at all because they know how to open their mouths when they have to. But in general, they don't want to fight like that. This is what you got to understand. They like to pay you back behind your back by smearing you to everybody, making you look like the nut. This is what they do. And you shouldn't care what a covert narcissist says because you're dealing with a toxic person. So anything they say doesn't mean shit. But understand this, you will never get transparency from that covert narcissist, okay? See, a shy person is very different. A shy person, you know, might be afraid to show who they are, but a shy person is, doesn't have that evil intent that the covert narcissist has. The covert narcissist portrays or puts on that image that they're shy, but they're not, okay? And you'll see that by little comments that they make will tip you off and be red flags that, hey, this person isn't shy. This person is nasty, okay? Because they might put you down in some way. They Like they could say something to you like, oh, oh, you look good today. Oh, I'm surprised. Now they know exactly what they're doing, okay? They know they're putting you down. So that's not something that a shy person would do. A shy person generally wouldn't say anything or they might even compliment you and mean that, you know? But with a covert narcissist, they give you a backhanded compliment, but they know exactly what they're doing. They, they want to lay that seed of, you know, they want to make you doubt yourself and feel unsure of yourself. So by them saying something to you like, oh, you look nice. I'm so, I'm surprised. Oh, you look nice today. I'm surprised. You know, they, they giving you a compliment, but then they're taking it away and making it seem like, oh, all the other times you don't look good. So it's a backhanded compliment to make you question yourself and create insecurity and create low self-esteem in you. That's not somebody that's shy. Somebody that's shy doesn't do that, okay? So understand that basically when we talk about a covert narcissist, you're basically just dealing with a snake, okay? Snakes move around, they slither, they're quiet, but, you know, they will bite you. They will bite you if you got their you know, you, you're right up on a snake, it's going to bite you. And that's the same way a covert narcissist is. When you're right up on that covert narcissist, they're either going to bite you and, and get out of there and run. They love to run too. And they love to make you feel like whatever you say isn't important. That's why they won't even let you finish a sentence and they walk out on you. They're trying to make you feel like, you know what? I don't care what you have to say. You're nothing and you're crazy and this and that. This is all to make you feel like you're nothing because they are portraying the exact opposite of what they are. They're nothing. And so what do they do? They project that shame onto you and go listen to my podcast that I've done in the past about how narcissists project all that toxicity onto you. They project their shame onto you. It's game, you guys. That's all it is. It's deflection. This is what the covert narcissist does. They just, you know, they, they're just actors and actresses that, you know, want to make you look bad. Their goal is to make you look bad. And why is that? So that you cannot 
you know, call them out for their bullshit and their shame. So they have to make you look bad in other people's eyes. They have to try to make you look like you're crazy so that nobody will believe anything that you say because they are terrified terrified and they are threatened by you. They're threatened by you because you're going to call them out their name. You're going to show people what they are and that will kill their image and kill them and create such shame inside them. So in order, you know, as a survival tactic, they got to put you down and use the mental card to put you down. Now, this is not something that a shy person will do. Shy people don't look to do that. Shy people don't look to attack you. A covert narcissist attacks you, but they attack you in an indirect, passive-aggressive manner. That is your covert narcissist, all right? So I hope that helps you guys understand a little better, you know, when you're dealing with a covert narcissist, just because they're not like an overt narcissist or a malignant narcissist or a grandiose narcissist, where they come at you and they yell and scream at you and get in your face, it doesn't mean they can't be deadly. And in some ways, they're more deadly because they bring outsiders into it. They love triangulation. And what they do is they use outside people to gang up against you isolate you and make you feel alone. They won't include you in things. They, you know, don't include you when they get together with other people. They want to isolate you and that takes away your power. So, you know, this is, and also they want to ruin your reputation. They're talking and smearing you and ruin your reputation. So just because they don't yell and scream at you directly, and also they love to keep you in the dark. They don't want to talk to you directly and tell you what's on their mind because they're not looking to resolve conflict with you. You can't resolve conflict with a covert narcissist. They'll never do it because they'll never take accountability. So what they'll do is they'll just say, can we move on from here? Why do you got to keep bringing up the past? Let's just sweep it under the rug. Can we move on? This is how they do it. So this this way they don't have to ever, you know, take accountability for everything they did in the past. They just can't do it. All right. So this is not a shy person. A shy person can take accountability, but a, a covert narcissist, they can't take accountability and they won't, and they won't communicate. And there's always a wall up with the covert narcissist. Always. Don't ever try to get closure or transparency from a covert narcissist because they will never, ever be open and honest and give you the truth, okay? They may give you partial truth, but they won't tell you everything about how they feel about you. The only time a covert narcissist will tell you how they really feel is if you cause a really bad narcissistic injury and you really come at that narcissist. I mean, like you really are slamming that narcissist and going at it. Then they may pop off and really tell you every horrible thing that they 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 feel about you because this you got them to a point where they're so fucking angry that they can't hold it in anymore, okay? They explode because you just pounded them out. And I mean, you really got to get them in a wall to do that because they're going to try not to let you know that they got to you. That's why they run. They run because they prevent themselves from popping off and giving you that satisfaction that you got to them. And also they don't want to validate you as well. All right. So you guys, I got to run here. I'm like on the road here on the highway, but I hope you guys, you know, you understand what you're dealing with when you deal with these covert narcissists. Understand a couple of facts. They're not transparent. You'll never get closure out of them. They don't fight directly. They're passive aggressive. They smile to your face and they stab you in the back. And they're the farthest thing from being meek or timid. All right. When we say vulnerable, they're the vulnerable narcissist. 
What we mean is they're very sensitive, though. This is the thing. A covert narcissist is very, very sensitive if you insult them or criticize them or tell them what to do or you put them down or you talk about them to other people. They are super, super, super sensitive. So they will look for revenge. But the difference is they're not weak. They're not shy. They're not feeble. They're not a cream puff. You know, they know how to fight, but they fight behind your back by plotting against you and smearing you. But they are not shy, okay? They are not shy. So I hope that helps you guys. If it does, please hit the subscribe button. Please share the podcast and have a great day. Take care, guys. If you guys are having a problem in your dating or relationship or you're dealing with somebody maybe that's narcissistic, you don't know if they're a narcissist or you're just having problems, you're in a toxic relationship and you need some clarity on it, go to the link in the podcast description for my website where I offer email and phone coaching. If you have a quick question, just a quick question, and you want to get a video sent back to you answering your question, there's also a link there for Vizio, where I will send you a personalized video answering your question. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz, and I want to tell you about my two books on Amazon. The first book is Regain Your Power. It's all about power and relationship. Who has the power in the relationship? And it goes into all of that, okay? The other book is Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time, okay? Check it out. It gives you a lot of good clues as to whether you're with somebody who's a real one or somebody who's just going to waste your time. You could read them both with Kindle's free trial membership. So check it out. Link is in the podcast description. Hi, you guys. I just want to let you know that The Game Exposed now has their merchandise available. Check out the link in the bio and you could go check it out. There's cool hoodies, cool sweatpants, cool hats. So go to the bio for the link. And also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook at the game exp 123 and also on Instagram the game exp 123 okay and have a great day mm-hmm.